so far succeeding in limiting our access to exercise our constitutional right. It's not a constitutional but right. By the way, well, these are the same people who don't believe in the constitutional right to keep and bear arms, which actually is a constitutional yeah. right. Right next <laughs> yeah, to number right. one, which includes, right by the, the way, top. freedom of speech, which you also don't believe in. You're stepping over rights to grab ones that don't <laughs> exist. Like, hey, freedom of speech, let's move that over here, yeah. right to bear arms. Yeah. I don't really like it because David Hogg was in a Michael Moore film. Eh, 14th Amendment's right to privacy, therefore you can have an abortion at 32 weeks, says Elizabeth Jeez. Warren. This one I'm pretty confident on. So this yeah. has been trending for two days now. And uh, of course, Georgia and Alabama. There's been so so much misinformation out there. Yes. It really has been driving me nuts. And I don't just want to say, oh, it's driving me crazy. It's wrong. I want to let you know as to why it's incorrect. And I want to know what, I guess, intellectual fallacies you've seen most out there. So here are a couple of the claims that I've seen most. Um, one of them, let's go right off the bat. They've been claiming uh, everywhere, by yeah. the way. And AOC kind of claimed it, but it was people said they misinterpreted her tweet. I don't know. I'll give it's it to her borderline. To do you don't need AOC <laughs> on this one because everyone else has been saying that these laws constitute jailing women for murder. If a Georgia resident plans to travel elsewhere to obtain an abortion, when she comes back, she could face 10 years imprisonment. Don't you? Meaning abortion. She left how one said 10 and one said 30. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. In prison. Whom are you going to imprison? Every woman who's had a fertilized egg pass through her? No, you just. I don't know, know Mr. <laughs> the Mechanical Engineer guy. <laughs> But, but specifically, because they've, they kind of thro they've thrown in Georgia and Alabama, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. They but they both specifically up. criminalize the act of performing the abortion uh, outside uh, of the so listed parameters. So exactly. they, they very clearly express banning the or the it's the person who's performing the abortion, which right. brings us actually yeah. to their subsequent claim that the Georgia bill they claim has loose language that could maybe lead to the prosecution yeah. of women who take an abortion pill or who travel to other states or who even miscarry. This is one we've been hearing a lot. Yeah, Miscarriage right. under this these laws. How stupid is that? Well, here's the thing, and I've been doing a lot of research since four in the morning. There've only been How two recorded incidents of women being charged with any kind of crime associated with their abortion. Yeah. Okay, uh, one was in 1911 and one was in 1922. Throughout the, unless I'm wrong about this, throughout the entire history of Anglo-American Western law, only one woman was ever charged with the crime of self-abortion. That specific crime, 1599. You have to go back oh, to wow. the 1500s. No oh. woman ever <laughs> in the history of modern Western law, uh, as far as I know, let me know if I'm wrong, has been charged with a crime for miscarrying. Yeah. Hmm. I've not seen it. Am I, do, do you know if, I, again, 1599, uh. one time. At one point he was, well, you know what, maybe before yeah. Roe v. Wade, people weren't being locked in a slammer because they were taking a pill. That's not what was happening. <laughs> By the way, <laughs> hit the notification bell. Some Midwesterners love that hockey yeah, reference. Yeah. Uh, uh, bookmark the page, because notification bells don't mean a whole lot if you're subscribed. Not of course, join Mug Club uh, and uh, iTunes. Leave a review rating there. Yeah. Um, here's another thing, too, that people have been saying, that it's just right-wing extremism and that it's completely unprecedented. That's actually from... Uh, Salon. That's, oh, they actually talk about how they yeah. will try to put you in jail for mis. This actually, this is something I think people don't understand. We have pretty liberal laws yeah. regarding abortion. The majority of European countries actually have abortion bans after 12 weeks, and a lot of them require a waiting period after oh. consulting with a doctor. I don't understand Darn. this. I don't understand this though either. At least it's intellectually consistent for these people who say abortion period on demand, no questions asked. Because to me, either it's a tragedy, or why should it be rare? Exactly. Right. Who yeah. cares? Why would you want it to be? Does anyone want pap smears to be rare? Nope. No. Does anyone yeah. want doctor checkups to be rare? No. Does anyone want people removing swollen tonsils to be rare? No. So I don't, I don't yeah. e either That's it's a tragedy point. or who cares whether it's rare. So I'm glad that at least right now we're having this conversation openly and honestly. Um, another claim that you've, this is a big fear mongering claim from the left. And it's not entirely, by the way, uh, unfounded that this is going to 100% lead to the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Setting up a potential showdown in the highest court of the land. Emma's new abortion law, the strictest in our country, is setting up a direct challenge to Roe versus Wade. Donald Trump said in the third debate with Hillary Clinton, Ugh. if I get two or more appointments to the Supreme Court, automatically, that's the word he used, automatically Roe v. Wade will be overturned. And I think the president was exactly right. Roe v. Wade Not according is to Kavanaugh. gone, <laughs> and wow, right. every woman in Alabama who gets pregnant is going to be forced to give birth soon. Okay, uh, oh. so here's the thing. It Forced. could. It, oh no! It could. Some people would <laughs> like to see it overturned. Yeah. Probably a lot in Alabama. Well, we know for yeah. a fact. Yes, a lot in Alabama. That's a separate issue from the argument. This is a. There's a few common misconceptions about Roe v. Wade, and uh, what would happen if it were overturned? Yeah. Okay. All states 
place restrictions, or most states place restrictions, regulations on abortions outside of the federal purview. Texas, they wanted to ban abortion after 20 weeks, yeah. which Elizabeth Warren famously opposed because she's a moral lady. <laughs> you, everyone has the hill they're willing to die on. What's yours? The hill littered with dead babies. Yeah, it's the dying hill. That's why I thought it was most appropriate. The hill I want to die on is the dying hill. Colorado, 34 okay. weeks. Virginia, 25 weeks. And uh, these laws often make it, uh, Bill, you probably know about this, mm -hmm. half Asian bill, uh, they make it to higher courts. Yeah, so there's truth to that. Yeah, they do. I mean, the, the, the case itself allows to have different restrictions based on the trimesters. That was the kind of fundamental, right. you know, practical application of it. And so we have always, since Roe versus Wade, had limitations. And really, again, I think it goes back to your point, which is where if you really do think it's as easy as clipping a nail and it's as, as you know, morally irrelevant as clipping a fingernail, then you should just be, you're probably more consistent to just say it should be allowed always. Right. right. Yeah. Um, and, and in these other states, essentially to say, oh, that Roe versus Wade may be challenged. Well, Roe versus Wade was a, is a very complex opinion that sets different types of restrictions at different trimesters. And it also has a certain basis in the 14th Amendment, the right to privacy. And so you can, you can maybe parse well, can you, some wait, of can those. Can you explain that? Because that's something a lot sure. of people don't yeah. know. They think that uh, Roe v. Wade says there's a constitutional right to abortion. And they think they're in the Constitution there's some interpreted right to abortion. So what what the 14th Amendment, which was the basis of the opinion, is the, saying that, yes, here you have the Constitution through the Bill of Rights, which says, or rather through an amendment, it wasn't in the Bill of Rights, but to say you can have a right of privacy, which that word isn't actually there, but it's interpreted as right. one of the rights that are broadly enumerated in the 14th Amendment. And then from that derivative right, right to privacy, you then have a de further derivative, subderivative right that says that your body and being able what you are going to do with your body. So, right. and, and I think intellectually, like at a very high level, a lot of people wouldn't understand. I mean, there's a lot of, you know, libertarian fans of the show who would say your right to privacy allows you to put in your body whatever you want or sure. to be able right, to do with yeah. your body whatever you want. So it's not like that entire spectrum of argument. No, and by the way, sense. I think that's a valid argument. I think yeah. li libertarians, you say, not only do I think pot should be legal, but I think someone should be able to shoot heroin in their house if they want to. I think it's very hard to argue against that constitutionally. Right. Mm -hmm. and it's yeah. a compelling argument. And But the difference becomes when, for example, it, you have a different heartbeat. Right. Yeah. yeah you're hurting somebody someone else. Someone else in there, and where you draw a line again under the libertarian philosophy, you would draw a line where you're hurting someone else, right. and, and those types of things. Yeah. And and that's where you you even on the question of what you have a right to privacy for, your right to privacy doesn't extend to what you can do to other no, people. No, it's a really right. really loose not tied there. And yeah. even Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who's likely dead, uh, admitted <laughs> Who knows? that Roe v. Wade is a byproduct of, quote, heavy judicial <laughs> interventionism. That's what she said, okay? So I want to make sure that people Her understand. Her own words. Yes. <laughs> and she's she's dead. Uh, this is Weekend at Bernie's all over <laughs> yeah, again. It's, yeah, it's just weekend at Ginsburg. Whatever you want. Part three. Uh, this is another claim, too. Is this, is, this is more so... Uh, a generalized claim we hear about abortion yeah. a lot, but they have been oh. banging on all cylinders when it comes to this one yeah. here, so these two uh, laws specifically, that this is about regulating a woman's body. There's no law like this against men. Democratic woman uh, in the legislature tried to fight back. State Senator Vivian Figures introduced an amendment to make vasectomies a felony, noting that there are no laws regulating what a man can do with his body. That screech. Who are you to tell me what to do? with my body. It's my decision. It's not yours. Uh, wait, hold on a second. Men can have Learn no that. say? None in what women do with their bodies? So you want to undo Roe v. Wade? Who were in the, <laughs> who's filling the court, sweetheart? Huh. What's going you on? want to lose the right to vote? Because who gave you that one? Many of you didn't even want it. You didn't want bucket <laughs> duty in the draft. That's true. There are pl by the way, there are plenty of laws like this that apply to men. Here's yeah. actually something. Let me ask you this. Can you name me, genuinely, a comparable instance where it doesn't. So they, they compare yeah. a vasectomy, right, to the heartbeat bill. Mm -hmm. Vasectomy, stupid. it's your appendage. It's your DNA. You can do what you want with your body. Just as, by the way, no one out there cares about you getting your tubes tied. No one out yeah. there cares about yeah. getting a pacemaker. This, this one leftist was tweeting on Twitter, like, oh, so now we're going to have laws about not about men are going to decide what we do with our pap smears often. Well, hold on a second. Oh. Why do you think it is that none of us care about yeah. any of those things? Because a vasectomy mm. is not ending... A heartbeat. By the way, ah, not yours, another mm. heartbeat. So let me ask you this. If we all acknowledge when we're talking about a heartbeat bill, yeah. okay, that you're stopping a heartbeat and it's not the mom's heartbeat. The mom doesn't have two hearts. She's not a medical marvel. <laughs> <laughs> At least most of them, right? Well, I would think Dr. So. Ben Carson yeah. isn't going to having to come in and separate all of them. <laughs> <laughs> so my question to you is if you're ending a heartbeat, whose heart? Whose yeah. heartbeat are you ending? Yeah. And can you point me to any instance 
any, any example where a man can legally stop the heartbeat of another human being, innocent, nonviolent, mm. let's not get into war here. Can you name me any example? More importantly, can you name me one example that would allow men to do that exclusively? Meaning men were allowed to, men would be allowed to stop someone else's heartbeat yeah. and women wouldn't be. That's the only way that your argument holds water. Here's something else that I, that I genuinely um, am curious to hear people's opinions on because I asked my wife this the other night. Women out there, can you think of, I, I, I mean, I'm sure women from a long time ago can say, sure, because if I spoke out, my husband gave me a fresh one. I whoa, understand whoa, that, right? Whoa, the yeah. Wonder Bread era. Ooh. Let's talk about today. Can you think of any issue today where as a woman you are told you're not allowed to have an opinion exclusively because you're a woman? Mm. If we're going to say, oh, if it were vasectomies, men could do it. Well, hold on a second. No, men are not allowed to stop another human being's heartbeat. In any instance, the only people who are allowed to do that are women. It's an exception yeah. to the rule. The only exception where it's permissible to end another autonomous being's heartbeat yeah. is for women. So let me ask you on the flip side. Are you ever told as a woman that you cannot hold an opinion or you are not entitled to an opinion exclusively because you are a woman? Women who are watching, listening, let me know. I can't think of any. They're claiming that these bills would imprison mothers. They won't. Uh, these bills are completely unprecedented. They're not. These bills don't take into account the health of the mother. They do. Uh, this is the start of overturning Roe v. Wade. Well, not exactly, but um, potentially that's a conversation we may have. But let me ask you this. What if none of this matters? What if these states, to people here who are upset about these bills, particularly like the Elizabeth Warrens of the world, yeah. Kamala Harris, well, the entire DNC platform, yeah, by the way, of course. Of there's, no, there's no intellectual <laughs> diversity there at all. What if these states, let's say Georgia, Alabama, had passed an abortion bill okay, that made exceptions for rape and incest and the life of the mother, they already make that exception, uh, and they banned abortion at only 12 weeks, requiring a five-day waiting period? Would liberals support it? Do you think they'd support it then? Or do you think you guys would protest it? She and her husband did what they thought was best for their baby girl. They got an abortion in the third trimester. Reproductive rights are about health. They are about safety. This is an existential fight for the right and liberty an to control existential? your own body. Abortion yes. cannot just be <laughs> theoretically legal. It has to be literally accessible. Uh, yeah, I feel like it's a basic human right that nobody gets to use your body without your consent. I That's had an abortion funny. last what? year. That's it real was an funny. incredible. What about jamming forceps in it? For me because I didn't want to become a mother. It is a normal part of uh, women's medical lives. So far, succeeding Shouldn't in limiting be. our access to exercise our constitutional right. It's not a constitutional right. By the way, no. well, these are the same people who don't believe in the constitutional right to keep and bear arms, which actually is a constitutional yeah. right. <laughs> it's actually spelled out. When we're talking yeah. about amendments, it's number two, right next <laughs> yeah, to number right. one, which includes, right by the, the way, top. freedom of speech, which you also don't believe in. So you're, you're, you're literally yeah. stepping, you've heard of stepping over dollars to pick up pennies? You're stepping over rights to grab ones that don't exist. Like, hey, freedom of speech, let's move that over here, right yeah. to bear arms. Yeah. I don't really like it because David Hogg was in a Michael Moore film. Eh, 14th Amendment's right to privacy, therefore you can have an abortion at 32 weeks, says Elizabeth Jeez. Warren. This one I'm pretty confident on. Oh my gosh. It really is absolutely remarkable to me. And by the way, yeah. I want to make sure that I'm clear that context of the first Elizabeth Warren clip. She was talking about parents who had a late-term abortion because the baby uh, was going to have a, a, a congenital, I yeah. believe, a heart defect. Yeah. So I don't want to be, be um, accused of taking her out of context. Here's the thing. It doesn't matter. That's not why she was opposing a 20-week abortion ban. You need to understand this, okay? If they say, hold on a second, we need exceptions on this. There's no exception for rape or incest. All right, hold on a second. You're against a 20-week ban. So how about on the flip side? Would you only uh, extend the abortion beyond 20 weeks in cases of rape, incest, or, for example, a congenital heart defect, serious birth defects, the health of the mother? That's not what Elizabeth Warren proposed. No, no not at all. They don't make those exceptions. You can't have it on one side of the coin and not on the other. It really is remarkable to me. When And again, the intellectual consistency. Yeah. yeah. Who, who, who cares? Why should it be rare? Exactly. You should be able to do if it, it doesn't anytime, mean anytime. anything, and also the fear mongering that really bothers me. You hear the right oh, accused yeah. of fear mongering quite a bit, where uh, <laughs> yeah. the right fear mongers they want your it's based on fear. Well, let's yeah. be honest. What do conservatives fear monger on? Okay, terror, terrorism, mm -hmm. socialism. Yeah. You know yeah. what? Okay, 9-11, Arab Spring, ISIS. Uh, you know what? Uh, socialism, Might be Venezuela. Yeah. How long? Instead of fear mongering, yeah. I call that a heads up. <laughs> 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 Sounding the alarm you a little bit for you. You look at the left fear mongering. What is it? Climate change? 
Polar ice caps were supposed to be gone, by the way. We're supposed yeah. to, the entire yeah. world was supposed to Uh-oh. be in famine aside from North America and parts of Europe. 11, 11 years, 8 Florida's months. Florida's supposed yeah. to be gone. No more coral reef, no more fish. Not saying there's no climate change, but the catastrophe certainly haven't happened. Right. Abortion. If you ban abortion, you're going to be, a, you're going to be jailed for miscarrying. So where's right. the right? Fear mongers gives you a heads up based on things that have actually happened and are currently happening across the world. <laughs> the left fear mongers yeah. on things that can't be proven, never happened, they move on to the next thing. No one in this country has been regularly arrested for uh, having abortions or for miscarrying. The, if you yeah. accept that wholesale, you have bought false fear mongering. It's not even close to the truth. And at least we can correct that. We can get to the conversation of abortion at large. Hey there, if you like this video, this is the part where I would usually tell you to subscribe, but. I can't do it anymore. I'm gonna tell you to subscribe and then YouTube is going to decide that we can't reach you even though you subscribe to this channel and then I'll say hit the notification bell and then the notification bell won't even be there anymore. I don't know what to say. More than likely you'll find my face in a milk carton, but do what you can to stop it. It's just, it's just, it probably won't do much.